<laughs> Yo, what is up, guys? Kevin here. Uh, 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 this is my first ever YouTube video. So, um, you know, I'm not a Fortnite player. I'm not like I'm not good at nothing. But um, uh, I'm just gonna do like a little like story time, you know, because um, I have a pretty interesting life. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little like story time. And um, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be pretty cool. I, I gotta say so myself. It's gonna be a story about like um, how I lost my virginity and stuff, and like past relationships, S stuff stuff like that, you know, stuff like that. But um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this little vid. You know, let's get right into this little the talking. All right, let's get right into the talk. All right, so basically, when I was like. 10, I think, I was like 10, I went to a bowling alley, right, and, um, this guy said, like, yo, do you wanna, um, like, I, I could, like, you could bowl for free, you just gotta do me a little favor, and I was like, alright, for sure, so, you know, and he, he seemed like a cool guy, he seemed cool, and, um, yeah, he took me to the back real quick, and I was like, yo, it was like, like, what do you need, like, what do you want, I thought he was, like, asking, like, a little box or something, like, you know, like, something, something simple, Nah, he's like, yo, take off your pants. And I was like, yo, bruh, yo. This man sucks. But I, I was like, alright, for sure, for sure. I took, I took off my motherfucking pants, like. And then he was like, alright, alright. He's like, alright, I can work with this. And I was like, oh, alright, bet, bet, bet. And then, dude, that guy went crazy, bruh. He started doing all sorts of crazy stuff to me, bro. And I was like, yo, yo, yo. Hey, uh, keep in mind, bruh, I was like 10. I didn't know what was going on, you know. I was just, just going with the flow. Going with the flow, you know. And then, and then the guy finished, you know, he didn't last long at all, man. And he's like, alright, you can both free now. I was like, for sure, for sure. And that was cool. It was a cool little experience, in my opinion. And, um, yeah, shout out to Chad, bro. He, uh, like, now I'm both free for life. Like, it's not every day you get experiences like those, for real, for real. So, shout out to him for changing my life. Not only in a negative way, but in a good way, too. Like, who like, would have thought, you know? So yeah, um, shout out to him. Uh, I wonder. Where, I think he's in jail right now. I'm not for sure for what, but he's cool. But um, uh, yeah. But let's talk about something else now. Uh, let's talk about um, like my past girlfriends and stuff, or boyfriends. Uh, let's talk about my first girlfriend though. So basically, my first girlfriend, but like, uh, you know, it's honestly hard to talk about because it's a very sensitive topic. Because I'm uh, you know, like, bro, we're not together no more, obviously. And hold up, hold up, hold up. Gotta cut the part out of the video, gotta cut the part out of the video. I am back. I'm back. You know, my mom. <laughs> bro, I swear to God, bro. One of these days, I'm gonna just grab my mom by the throat and just fucking chuck her at a wall. But uh, yeah, I'm back now, guys. I'm back to my story. All right, so I was talking about my, what was it? My uh, my first girlfriend. Yeah, my first girlfriend, bro. Um, honestly, uh, uh, we dated for like, I say like seven, eight months, bro. Like honestly, not not it's not the longest, but it's not the shortest, you know. It's not like those two week relationships, but uh, and honestly, I thought she was the one. Obviously, she wasn't. <laughs> Fuck her. I hate her. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, I was I was obsessed with her. She was obsessed with me, you know. No, no food shit, no none of that. But you know, it's kind of it's kind of sad, you know. Like, like I don't know. There's a lot of good memories. Uh. Like the one time when um, what was I gonna say, bro? One time I went to her house, right? I was like ready to clap that, bro. I was ready to clap, and like she has like a, she has a twin brother, right? And I was like, it actually like fucked him, bro. That was a honest mistake, bro. And then his dad joined in, bro. Started hitting that shit from the back. Crazy experience, bro. Crazy experience. And but yeah, long story short, um, uh, I cheated on her. I uh, regret it, you know, honest mistake, I'm not a cheater, uh, just that uh, her brother was just, 
But yeah, um, me and her brother later on went to go a date for a few months. Uh, it was a good relationship. She was pretty toxic. She was hella clingy. And so it was like, I had to end it, man. Like, I, I don't want to be into something like toxic, you know? I ain't into that toxic shit. I'm like more of like a cute, like chill guy. That we're like, 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 yeah. But, um, yeah, we, which, like, I, I wasn't built for relationships, I guess, bro. Because every girl or guy I try to talk to, it just never works out for me, ever. Because, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I just can't seem to keep a, a boyfriend or girlfriend, you know? Maybe it's just not for me. Maybe I'm just going to be a loner for the rest of my life or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Girlfriends, boyfriends, I can't. It doesn't never work for me. And my mom, my mom doesn't even want me to have a boyfriend or girlfriend. I don't know why. She's, she's weird about it. She's always like, oh, you're not responsible enough. Oh, this, 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 and that. And I'm like, bruh, like, like, I'm 12 now. Like, I'm, I'm ready for a relationship. So, I mean, it's whatever, I guess. It's cool or whatever. Oh. What the fuck? But yeah, um, eh, just honestly, been a hard time. Ever since, um, yeah, just ever since, ever since that moment in my life, I just my life has been the same. Uh, I, I'm just not the same person I was. I completely changed. Back in the day. Call me the nicest guy in the world. Back in the day, that was back in like, shit, I don't know, 2018 maybe. Now, now I don't know what they, cause they call me something different, bro. Who knows what they call me? They don't call me that no more. It's just been, it's been rough, you know. A lot changed. I have a crush on this girl, but honestly, bro, like, I, my chances are zero. Never gonna happen, bro. Never. I've tried so many times and it just never happened. Never would not work. I don't know why. You know. And then one time I was talking to this one girl. And I like I thought we were just, Oh yo. Uh, anyway, but um, I was talking to this one one girl, bruh. I thought like, oh yeah, bro, like I see myself with this girl in the future. No. No, it didn't work out. It never works out. I was like, yeah, man, like this is it. this is like my little fatty. I'm gonna I'm gonna meet her parents, I'm gonna get her pregnant. No. Never happens bro, never it's never gonna work for me. I'm not made for this. I'll never be made for it. I'll never have a girlfriend or boyfriend. And then one time I was talking to this one guy. His name was uh Peyton. Bruh, he was fine as fuck, bruh. But he had no ass, bruh, so I even about that. I was like, hell no, bruh. He was bone, he was a he was a fucking skeleton. It was a skeleton. But it was whatever, I guess. Woohoo! Yeah, but. It's whatever, I guess, bro. Like, relationships ain't for me. It's cool. What could I say? Maybe. Maybe one day I'll find the one. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Who knows, man? Bitch, <laughs> this nigga really thought he was gonna kill me. He really thought. But uh, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time. Uh, maybe more in the future. I'm not sure. It depends on how my uh my, my depression is doing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit. And yeah.